My name is Robin Morin. I am the co-chair for the First Nations University of Canada Spring Celebration. The powwow has been happening for over 40 years. We have individuals from all over North America who travel to our events as it's usually the spring kickoff to the powwow season. After not being able to gather for a couple years due to the pandemic, it feels so good to be able to connect with friends and family community members that we haven't seen, um, just to come together, watch the children dance, watch the elders be happy, and just like really feel all of the good feelings that Powell brings. Like we get to watch dancers dance their style, but we also get to hear the drum. The heartbeat of Mother Earth, I would say, uh, it's the drum, it's the drum. I love the, the sound the voices that come with the singing uh, and uh, all the family, extended family we have on, uh, on the powwow circle. I was always told and taught that when we dance, we dance, we dance for the people. You know, we dance for the ones that are sick, the ones that can't dance, the ones that want to dance, uh, the ones that need healing, the ones that are grieving, you know, and when we go out there we're dancing and we're offering our dance and our prayers to the Creator. For someone that hasn't uh, been to a powwow, I think you would really enjoy seeing all the regalia, listening to the drums, uh, meeting people meeting people and, and such fine foods at powwows. Prayer is always involved in, in each powwow, so that's one of the benefits that we go for as well. I grew up following the powwow trail because of my parents and we went all over Canada and all over the States, so I've been really lucky in life to be able to to experience all the different types of powwows. Powwow is actually a celebration of life. And we are all treaty people. We're here on Treaty 4 territory. And as treaty people, we can collectively come together to celebrate life.